I don't care what it feels like Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are glad that you are tuning in with us. Let us pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day's journey and we are glad about it. We pray right now that this word will touch those that never touched. It will heal those that never healed. It will deliver those that never delivered. We pray right now, Father God, forgive me for my sins, old, past, and present. We pray right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as I sit in you, you stand in me. As I close my mouth, you open yours. You are the potter. I'm nothing but clay. Make it mold me to what you have called me to be. So, Father God, we pray right now. Speak right now. For your servants are listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, I'm so excited about the word of the Lord this morning. Uh, we will be coming back um, to Genesis chapter 13. Um, Genesis chapter 13, we're going to um, try to conclude this series on this morning. Um, Genesis 13, we're going to look at verse uh, 14 through 15. And it reads, And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, Live your eyes now and look from the place where you are northward southward eastward and westward for all the land which you see i give it to you and your descendants forever i want to conclude this series that we have in our mind if you don't see it before you see it you'll never see it Come on, if you don't see it, before you see it, you'll never see it. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, for the last past two weeks, um, I wanted to put this in your spirit. That God want us to be able to see in the spirit before we can see it in the natural. What's so tough, ladies and gentlemen, is that, listen, it's, it's still January, the beginning of 2021. And it's sad because this year has already started out horrific. But even in the midst of that, do you still see that 2021 is a year recovery while you are losing? Can you see that this is a year of restoration while things are being torn apart in your life? That this year God is getting ready to turn things around. The question is, can you see it? You have to be able to see it before you see it. And this is what God wants us to bring home this morning. Is that no matter what you see in the natural, you have to be able to see something bigger in the spirit realm. Um, and if you can see it before you see it, there's some stuff God is getting ready to release into our spirit. Can I prophesy right now to somebody? What you see don't look good. What you are looking at doesn't look good. But can I tell you some things that we're looking at may be a distraction. Um, but if you can just close your natural eyes and open up your spiritual eyes and say, God, show me what you have in store for me. And I'm going to trust on what you said and not what I see here in Genesis chapter 13 very familiar passage of scripture in this place in Abram's life better known as Abraham God commissions him to leave his family leave his father's house and go to a place he would show him God promised him land promised him that he would be a blessing not just blessed promise him that um in all this in his seed all the earth would be blessed but here in genesis 13 one chapter later abraham is still waiting on what god promised him it's sad because even right now in the beginning of genesis 13 the promise of god on his life hasn't even come to pass yet and what's so sad abram is trying to find a way to see it before he see it because all around him is conflict 
All around him is consternation. All around him is a season of pain and hurt. But the, this man of faith, having to galvanize the little faith he have left to see it before he see it. Can I park my car right there because some of you are watching this morning with the word of God over your life with the promise of God over your life and the last past six months has been very painful to you but somewhere on the inside there's hope somewhere on the inside there's a word somewhere on the inside there's a brighter day somewhere on the inside you know things will be better but God is saying with the morsel of faith you have left can you see it before you see it and so here we want to um, look at Genesis 13 um, and Lot after Lot has separated from Abram God appears to him and God speaks to Abram and says, lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes, Abram. And look from the place where you are. Northward, southward, eastward, and westward. He tell him, if you can see it, mm, I give it to you. Whatever you see, here it is, I'm going to give it to you. Here is the problem that I want you to remember is that Abraham and Lot just separated. He gone through separation. He's in pain. But watch this. You look here in verse 14. He said, lift up your eyes. Watch this. And look from the place where you are. <sighs> look, look from the place where you are. Please understand we can park our car right here. I promise you to keep the motor running. Watch this. God tells him, I'm going to show you the east. I'm showing you the north, the south, the west. But the problem is, Abram, you have to see it from where you are. Um, I, I don't want to take you to the east to see the east. I'm not going to take you to the north to show you the north. I'm not going to drag you down to the south to show you the south. Nor will I take you to the west to show you the west. But all that I'm giving you, here it is. I want you to see it from where you are now. You have to understand, watch this, that when Lot and Abram separated, Lot chose the land that looks good, that looked good. He chose the fruitful land. He chose the land that was productive. But he left Abraham here in Canaan and at this time the land was dry At this time it was painful at this time it was barren So watch this when Lot left Abram here it is watch this he left him in a hurting place He left him in a bad place He left him in a barren place He left him in an unfruitful place he left him in an unproductive place and God shows up in this bad place in Abram's life. Watch this. He shows up in this unfruitful place in Abram's life. He shows up in this unproductive place in Abram's life and said, Abram, I got something better for you. Abram, I got something better for you. But the problem is, Abram, watch this. You have to see it from the place where you are. Ah, watch this. You, I'm going to allow you to stay in this dry place. I'm going to allow you to stay in this unfruitful place. I'm going to allow you to stay in this barren place. And I want you to see it from this place. Mm. This is the place, Abram, that I want you to see it. Um, I don't want you to see it when you get there. Uh, but this place where you are in your life, um, this is where I want you to see it. And I'm talking to some of you who are watching this morning. You are in a rough place. You are in a sad place. You are in a bad place. A place of pain. A place where you're ber ber grieving. A place where you're shedding tears. A place of unemployment. A place of shame. A place of doubt. A place of homelessness. A place of insecurity. 
You are in a bad place, a place where there's no hope, a place where there's no help, a place where you are frustrated, a place where you are mad, a place where you are sad. And God shows up in this place and says, I got something better for you. But the test on your life, the assignment that's on your life is can you see it from this place? Ah yes, it's easy to see it when your place change. Ah, it's easy to see it when you are in a better place. Ah, but if you are in this place like Abram is, like Abram was, and God shows up in a painful place, in a fruitful place, and said, Abram, I got some better. Ah, it's in the north, it's in the south, it's in the east, it's in the west. But guess what, Abram? I expect you, here it is, to see it from this place. And ladies and gentlemen, in order for you to see it before you see it, I told you two weeks ago, you have to be able to see your destination from separation. Oh, but this week, ladies and gentlemen, you have to be able to see your destination from your situation. Uh, whatever situation that you have, you have to be able to see it. I know you may be in a, a hurting place, a painful place, a bad place, a, a, an upset place. Place, but God is saying this is the time this is the place where I want you to see it from this place from this situation you have to be able to see your destination from your situation God comes to him in a hurting situation a bad situation it's an able to hold up it won't always be like this you will not always be in a barren place you won't always be in an unfruitful place but Abram I got something better but what I have in store for you you have to see it from where you are this spot right here I know you heard it but see it from where you are ladies and gentlemen we're living in a time now where this is the information age and in this information age it used to be a time when you uh, were traveling out of town that uh, you will go somewhere and uh, you'll be surprised of how the location looked. But you couldn't see it until you got there. But now, with technology, I travel a whole lot. And before I get to my destination, I get the address and type it in my GPS. Type it in my GPS and with Google Maps, you are able, watch this, to see your destination from your location. Uh, <laughs> you're able to see your destination from your location. Before you get to where you're going, you're able to pull your GPS out. And even though you are at home, you are able to see where you're going. And to pull the map up and right in your driveway you are able to see your destination from your location uh, and if that's true in the natural uh, I believe that same principle applies in the spiritual um, and some of you are in a bad location some of you may be in a bad situation but no matter what your situation look like, uh, no matter what your location look like, um, if you are in a place of pain, a place of doubt, if your situation is hurting, don't you know God has given us his GPS? Um, that when you're in a certain location, when you're in a situation, uh, you get on your knees, watch this, and God will give you a GPS. And from that GPS, you are able to see your destination from your situation. Well, apostle, what is GPS? GPS means God provided something. Um, you may be broke, but guess what? God provided something. You may be sick, but God provided something. And when you know God has already provided something, it gives 
gives you a peace. So in my GPS, God, show me what you already provided. Give me a clue for what you already provided. I know I'm sick right now, but I know your healing is already provided. I know I'm going through danger right now, but your protection is already provided. And when I give God praise, I'm giving God praise because God allowed me to see my destination in my situation. Give me a GPS and this God provided something. And I, I understand that whatever I need is already taken care of. So here we are. He said, Abram, I need you. Watch this to see it from where you are. You have to be able to see your destination from your situation. He said, hey, hey, Abram, open up your eyes. Watch this. And look from the place where you are ah i'm getting excited watch this i'm um, look from the place where you are notice this when you look at canaan from a geographical standpoint canaan was positioned on a mountain ah abram just left egypt egypt is positioned lower than Canaan. Um, so when, when Abram was in Canaan in Genesis 12, it was a famine. So Abram goes down to Egypt. Uh, he goes down to Egypt. Um, but now in chapter 13, Abram goes up to Canaan. All right. Um, and so once he gets to Canaan, Yes, it's painful. Yes, it's unproductive. Yes, it's dry. Watch this. Yes, it's barren. But it's higher than where he was. Mm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Canaan is was a bad place, unproductive place. But geographically, it was positioned higher. Ah. So that explains why God tells Abram, look from where you are now, Abram. If God had taken Abraham to the east, he could only see the east. Mm. Woo. He had to go down to see the east. So he could only see the east. If God had taken Abram to the north, he could only see the north. Watch this. If God had taken Abram to the west, he could only see the west. Mm. If God had taken him down south, um, where he was positioned, he could only see the south. But because Abram was positioned higher, he was able to see the north, the south, the east, and the west from where he was. Mm. Yes, it was a painful place. But the place where he was, even though it hurt him, uh, it caused elevation. It caused him to see some stuff uh, he could normally see without going through pain. Uh, it caused him to see some stuff he probably would not have seen without going through a season of being barren. Um, and Abraham said, you know what? In order for me to see it before I see it, number two, I have to realize what God did for me wasn't for my detriment. It was for my development. Mm. Uh, what God took me through wasn't for my detriment. It was for my development. The word detriment, watch this, means to hurt. Uh, but the word development means to help. Uh, and what Abram realized, I went through a season of pain. I went through a season of hurt. I went through a season of separation. I went through a season of loneliness. Oh, but when I look at it all, now I realize it wasn't for my detriment. Uh, it was for my development. Uh, because now I'm able to see the north, the south, the east, and the 
the West at the same time. And what you have to realize, watch this, is that Abram was in a barren place, but it wasn't barren in the north. Ooh, it wasn't dry in the east. It wasn't dry in the west. It was surely fruitful in the south. Oh, but Abraham said, now, since I'm developed, I'm able to see my destination from my situation because what happened to me wasn't for my detriment. It was for my development. And so even though I'm in a season of pain, I can see my fruit. Even though I'm in a season of pain, I can see my help coming. Even though I'm in a season of pain, I can see what God is already provided for me. Who am I talking to on this Sunday morning? Yes, you've been in a season of pain, a season of hurt, a season of frustration, but you don't even realize God is taking you higher. He's positioning you higher. You on Mount Canaan now. He's getting ready to show you some stuff that I haven't seen, that you haven't heard. And God is saying, now you are in this place where you are. I'm proving to you that though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I'm proving to you it wasn't to hurt you, it was to help you. And had not you gone through that pain, you wouldn't be where you are today. Had not you suffered the way you suffer, you won't be able to minister the way you minister to pray the way you pray you have to say God I thank you for the hurting season of my life I thank you for the painful season of my life I thank you for my Mount Canaan experience because now I know it wasn't for my detriment it was for my development and now I'm greater I'm able to see it before I see it because I experienced what I experienced so this morning, ladies and gentlemen, as I get out of here, some of you are just like April. You went through a season of pain and hurt. And God wanted you to see it from that place. The place of pain. The place of hurt. He said, I got something better for you. But this year, I need you to see it from this place. I want you to be able to see your destination from your situation. All of us, COVID-19 has put all of us in a different place. The place where we are may not look good. Some of you because of COVID-19 lost loved ones, lost jobs, been furloughed, been sick, all of us have experienced a different place but God see it even in that can you see it from that place can you see your destination from your location you discover just like April his location wasn't pretty but it was higher it propelled him higher and from that, he realized what I've been through wasn't for my detriment. It was for my development. It allowed me to see some stuff I would not have seen if I hadn't been elevated. God waited until Abram was high enough to show him four locations at one time. God is getting ready to show you some stuff. I speak right now for blessings. He's getting ready to show you at one time. But you're going to discover that now I'm able to see it before I see it. Let's pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those who are watching this morning. 2021 has been a tough month but God give me strength to see it from this place the place where we are right now help us to see our destination through our situation give us the spiritual GPS that God provided something Help us to realize, Father, whatever we need, you already provided. 
And I pray right now, Father, help us to understand that what we went through wasn't for our detriment. It was for our development. You are not trying to hurt us, but you're trying to help us. Help us to see it before we see it. Amen. If you're watching this broadcast and you are not saved, repeat after me. Say, Lord, I am a sinner and I come to you. I believe you died on the cross. I believe right now you was raised on the third day. Forgive me for my sins and my iniquities. Come into my heart, make me new again. I receive you as my father. Please receive me as your child. If you made those confessions, you are saved. Listen, if you're watching this broadcast and you want to be a blessing to Rhema Word, the ways to give is on the screen. Please remember, whatever you make happen for somebody else, God will make happen for you. If you want to be a blessing to yours truly, Apostle KJ Mack, my cash app is at the bottom of the screen. Or if you want to mail it in, you can use the same address for the church. Remember, God will make sure your harvest return bigger than your seed. Well, until then, we will see you on this Wednesday night. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.